obviously the thing that should be in your head right now is that this team managed to stick six past the team we could only put two past. I am really happy with how the first two games have been conducted. Not the result, but the attitude has been brilliant. We play football and we fucking tear them apart. We've had 65 shots in two games. Defend like you fucking mean it. Get your fucking head on anything that's in the air and then speed it up when we get into the final third. Believe in the fucking man wearing a red shirt next to you because I tell you what, lads, this is the most talented dressing room in this fucking league. And you go and fucking prove it. Oh. Lucky Mike, you're lucky! Four guys fucking way off it, man. Just bowling. Obviously the thing that should be in your head right now is that this team managed to stick six past the team we could only put two past. But we could only put two past them because we lack composure on the day. Normally, pretty fucking composed and I back you fuckers to score against anyone in any circumstances. I am really happy with how the first two games have been conducted. Not the result, but the attitude has been brilliant. The best thing that came out of Wednesday night for me was when we went behind. There was nothing except a fucking 100% togetherness to get back in, get a fucking goal and then go on and win the game. And when we got that goal, the only thought was to win the fucking game. <clears throat> you can't buy that sort of fucking collective mindset. And that's what we've got. I, from what I can gather, I think they're going to be big. I think they're going to be fucking aggressive. And I reckon that's probably why they managed to get over the line against Mersey Valley. A little bit more when they sat back, probably second half, looking at how the game went. I reckon they probably launched it forward and they probably got some bigger boys that managed to stick it in the back of the net, right? We play football and we fucking tear them apart. We've had 65 shots in two games. Honestly, it's fucking ridiculous. If we do another fucking 30 shots today, we're scoring a hat full of goals. We play our game and we absolutely fucking snotter them. But you have to keep composure and we have to hold the ball through the middle a little bit, yeah? So, no sub Ben, Otsi. Let's actually play on the floor to each other and drive through that midfield line, yeah? As long as we've got movement in the forward three, we will fucking smash them. And that means sometimes going narrow, sometimes going wide. I don't mind the occasional clip into space. As this game progresses, my gut instinct is they're going to tire. Just on the sheer size of them, they'll tire, and that's when we fucking take over. But you've got to fucking be in the fight. Do not give them the opportunity to go a goal up and sit back like they did on Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Defend like you fucking mean it. Get your fucking head on anything that's in the air and then speed it up when we get into the final third. Believe in the fucking man wearing a red shirt next to you because I tell you what, lads, this is the most talented dressing room in this fucking league. And you go and fucking prove it. Anyone want, want to do it? Yeah. Go get one. Come on, boys. Having only played three days ago against Mersey Valley FC, Paddock are back with another game in the Cheshire League. Wednesday night's game was a frustrating one. The lads will be hopeful to get a win against today's opponents, Haydock FC, and put Wednesday's result behind them. On a clap. Three, two, one, go. 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 Hey, you should have seen him get beat by Tommy. Oh, my God. Mike! Stay right, Ozzy. Oh, oh, right, lads, stop. Shit. Why are we jogging? This is fucking well flat. Right, lads, step the fucking tempo and fucking yeah. get your heads on it. Get out there, get out there, Mike. Oh, no. Too fucking slow, yeah, Mike. Yeah. Check your shoulder. Well done. Turn! Through the gap! Through the gap! Then turn! 
From a psychological point of view, from everything that's going on in the league, we've got to come here and get three points today. We've got 11 players missing today, including six midfielders. Um, so the team's almost picked itself, and also we've got a couple of debuts on the bench. Um, Mikey's. Mikey's the only real sort of change change um, based on the performance that he had. Um, you know, but he's probably the first choice right back at the club currently. So he, he proved how fit he was Wednesday night. I don't know if he's got 90 in the tank now, I guess we're going to find out. Um, but obviously he, he is an attacking asset. We've, we've created 65 shots in two games. If we continue along that trend, we'll score goals. A little bit more composure and that's all we need. I was really happy with the attitude, the fight, the spirit, everything on Wednesday night. I was just disappointed with the, the end result. Boys, as I said in the dressing room, the fucking spirit's been fantastic. The attitude has been fantastic and, and actually some of the fucking players have been fantastic, even if the result wasn't there on Wednesday night. Starting the same mentality, same spirit. Every single time we stop, every kickoff, we fucking chase, yeah? Everything we do is with intensity and with fucking pressure and together and we'll fucking get the three points. What's it? Just be direct with the ball. Finish your chances, because you can't. We can't be having 25, 30 chances of fucking scoring too, because we're going to lose games like that. So, I don't have anything to say really. Boys, loads of fucking talk, loads of energy, loads of fucking intensity from the start, yeah. Get them cupped early doors, look at the, the physique of them. Yeah, they might be able to play, but I don't think they can last 90 minutes, okay? So be fucking careful and composed as we start the game. We'll start it with some fucking intensity and let's put them immediately on the back foot. Okay? Move the ball fast while we can. On, Move it put quick. them on the back foot. Front foot attacking. Let's go, Paddock. Go on, boys. 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 Hi, mate. Matt, nice to meet you. James. You alright, mate? Who's that, too? <coughs> Matt, nice to meet you. Okay. Right, mate. Right, right. All right, lads. You're the away side, so I'll let you off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll feel it. Oh, yeah. You know it is. Uh, Big game again for Stretford Paddock. This week they're taking on Haydock FC. And listen, it's always a big game in this league, in the Cheshire League. Nice brisk, brisk late afternoon. We've got here, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. And have a look at the team, the team line. But the referee's given his, his final words to the captains there. Lots of handshakes and high fives. That'll go out the window as soon as the ball's kicked off. Let's take a look at the starting 11 then for Stretford Paddock. We've got Vic in net fullbacks. Mikey, he's starting again after his injury. Will at fullback as well. Tommy and Ryan at centre back. Oatsy, he's been moving to midfield as we're, we've got 11 players missing, including five centre mids. Ben's been brought in from the reserves alongside Nosa. And we've got Jao, Kieran, and Ronaldo up top. Good game. Stretford Paddock shooting from left to right. And the ball's in Stretford Paddock's half. The plate forward nice and easy. Haydock on the front foot. Is that a free kick? The referee says no. The ball goes long. As you can see from early, Haydock are trying to turn the Stretford Paddock defence on the right-hand side of the penalty area. They put the ball across the penalty area. No one's there. Can Stretford Paddock clear this? They're claiming for the corner. What's the ref giving? The ref's giving a corner kick, can he? Corner ball to Haydock FC. The ball comes in nice and low. Where's the ball? Oh, and it's in the back of the net. And Haydock FC take the lead. 1-0 to Haydock. Two minutes on the clock. And the ball's in the back of the net. And that's a bit of shocking defending. Let's have a look at this again. It was nice and low. Got his foot to it. Keeping it even dive. And the ball was past him. And Stretford Paddock find themselves on the back foot. 1-0 to Haydock. Mikey! I turn the ball! He's one ball! You should have, don't, don't leave the ball, just say I should have cleared it and deal with it, yeah? Stretford Paddock going to have to recover from this quite early. When you, when you have a setback early, early in the game, it, you have to find your feet. You have to get your heads on and you have to stay compact and sharp. Otherwise, the game's going to run away from you. And there's a little battle on the left-hand side. Is that a free kick in there? The referee says, yeah, it's a free kick. Left-hand side of the penalty area. Can they whip it in? They whip it in towards the back post. Where's the ball? Oh, well, oh, look, a great save from the keeper. Absolutely fantastic save from Vic. Let's have a look at that again because I don't I don't know if the player got his head to that or not. Or if it's just a deflection. Let's take, let's take another look at that. There it goes. It goes in and there's a wonderful save, as I thought, from Vic. Straight off the crossbar. Stretford Paddock are able to clear the ball. Throw into Stretford Paddock. Infield, no, sir. Takes it on his right foot. Kieran picks, picks up the ball. 
Driving at the heart of the defence. Left foot shot. Oh, and that's just over the bar. That's a good Again. effort. That's a very good effort. That reminds me of the goal that he scored against Holmes Chapel, but this time he just didn't hit the target. Jeffrey Paddock's just trying to build a bit of pressure against Haydock. The 1-0 down. They're trying to get back in the game. No, is trying to force things. The referee says free kick to Stretford Paddock. He's taking this. Is it Kieran? It is Kieran. He tries a little cheeky shot, but that's easy for the keeper. Big kick from the Haydock keeper. Good. We win your headers. He won the headers. Oates is on the ball. Plays it forward. Laid off. Now it's Nosa. Trying to get forward again. Is that a tackle or is that a free kick? The referee says it's a good tackle. And the play goes on. And Haydock knock it long. And the ball's in the air. Sheffield Paddock got to clear this. But no, it falls to Haydock FC. Driving forward. Straight through the heart of, heart of, heart of the pitch. Goes the ball goes to the right-hand side. Can they get a shot? If they do get a shot off, and that flashes by the post. And that was dangerous. Can Mikey clear? He gets control of the ball. Clears it, but only finds a Haydock player. Edge of the box. Gets it onto his right foot. Is that a free kick? Nope. Referee says no. Get up. Penalty. Nope. Is that a free kick? It is a free kick. Trevor Paddock, they're trying to put the foot in. Trying to win the ball. Steve wants him to hit hard, and they are trying to hit hard, but they're committing fouls in dangerous places. This is about, the, what, the third free kick now. Goalkeeper's got the wall set. Free kick. Comes in. The wall stands firm. Can Paddock have got to clear this, but they don't clear it. And Haydock again. They pick up the ball and deep in Paddock's half. And the ball goes out for a throw-in. As, and as we've seen in previous week, this is what Paddock try and do. Try and play the ball nice and easy to feet. Try and build through the thirds. But again, they lose it and Haddock pick up the P. Pick up the, and that's, and that's got to be a foul. And it is a foul. Free kick. Left foot, low. In, inside the penalty box, can he get a shot off? He does get a shot off and that should be easy for Vic and it is. I actually think we might just. I think it's the, the same as Wednesday. They're dictating the tempo and play. We're, we're being dictated to by them. Not in this game at all. I don't think. We're not, and we're in it because we're we're always dangerous. But if they score a second, I don't see us getting three. Is the ball in field? Long ball over the top. This might be the way forward. Got a runner onto the ball. And it's Jow right inside of the penalty area. Good block from the header. But that's better from Stretford Paddock. Long ball over the top. Found space in the channel. And Jow was there running onto it. Oh, it's on the ball. Plays it forward. No, sir. Gets it back. And the ball's come out to the right-hand side. Mikey running forward. Can he get a shot off? He does get a shot off. Does it go? And it goes. He gets deflected out for a corner ball. That's better from Paddock. Much better. Because this has been fucking horrendous. Let me just say, I've got no right to fucking say anything because I'm late. Yeah, but having having said that, we're in the game because it's only one nil. We can't play through the midfield because if, if I'm honest, we haven't got the players in there that can play in the midfield. So don't play through the midfield. Where we're getting the where we're getting advantage is when we put it in behind them on the wings. So we're almost better getting the midfielders when we're attacking to just pull out a little bit more and then go and support the wingers. Do you get what I'm saying? I don't this is my worry is I wanna fucking freshen it up with a sub but I don't know yeah. what we've got and what we lose when we change what we've got, if you know what I mean. I think Ronnie's been fucking anonymous. But Ben, who which one's Ben? The eight. The eight? Yeah, 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 yeah he's been put. But that's what I'm saying. Don't play, don't play into that because that's where we're losing, losing the ball. That passage uh, of play there just showed that if you're passing it through the middle, yeah, that's the we way fucking to shagged it. That was yeah. great football. That was literally how we played. Play physical with it. Just pass it through the middle. Pass it round. Yeah. Couldn't yeah. deal with yeah. that. And, and that's the only and time they've done it with that. Go, please gamble. Gamble, 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 gamble. Stay on. Watch the, watch the fat lad in the middle. Stay behind him. I think by playing it in there and in there, we've got. I think we can still do it. They yeah, I think we can still. We're not going to. I don't think we're coming away nil. Keep us no. shit. Um, go on. And the other thing is, they, they just seem to me to be on it more than we are. Typical sc yes. scarce team. They're just, on it. Yeah. Fucking like very fucking loud. Very yeah, physical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First to a yeah. lot. Goal kick. Bang on half time. 
Still 1 0 to Haydock. And there's the half time whistle. Half time whistle. The Stretford Paddock 1 0 down. They'll be disappointed with that. They haven't really got to grips with the game. Haydock have been, have been good playing the ball nicely. Had a few opportunities and won the ball back and all those type of things. So, yeah, poor half from Paddock. We're going to ask a fucking lot for your second half. We're going to ask you to start working. They're causing us a couple of problems at the back because they're extremely fucking high. I don't think we've held any sort of composure with or without the ball. And I would like us to try and. What I'm going to say is going to be contradictory. So you're going to have to try and fucking use your intelligence to interpret what I'm about to say. We are finding opportunities when we can get the ball in behind at the right time. But that doesn't mean that we just twat it in behind every single time. We can take the sting out of the game by holding some possession and playing some football through the middle of them. You did well to weather the storm because I think if they'd have got a second, you'd have fucking struggled the way it was going. But we are still in this game and there are holes in this game. We need to play in that centre of the park a little bit. So I'm going to make two changes. Uh, Paolo on for Will and Aftab on for Ben. Get a gel in you and mentally fucking reset yourselves to be able to fucking go with some fucking intensity for the first 15 to 16 minutes of this game because we are scoring that first fucking goal. Nothing else matters. This match highlight is brought by our partners at One Football. One Football is the best football app in the world for live scores, transfer news, live updates, and anything you want to know about any league and any team in the world. One Football tells you. Doesn't matter what team you support. And you can find Stretford Paddock FC now on the One Football app as well. To get the One Football app, click on the link in the description below and it's completely free to use. So why not try it? Remember, the link is in the description below. Click, download, and enjoy the One Football app. Now let's get back to the game. And the second half's underway, Stretford Paddock. We'll be hoping for a better outcome in the second half and they want to try and get a grip in this game. Haydock on the attack straight away, though, as the second half and the through and goal. No, no, not the keepers comes out. It should be easy for the keeper, and he does. He claims that nice and easy. Big throw, left arm over arm, but he gets intercepted again from Paddock. The keep winning the ball, high up in, high up in Paddock's half. Going to go through. Is that a penalty? Is the ref giving a penalty? And it looks like the ref has given a penalty. And that's from the own, the wrong doing from Paddock. There, the ball gets thrown out from the keeper. Haddock are picking up, are picking up all the balls in the in in in, in the defensive third of Paddock. Look at that, the get through, the, he's steaming through, the claiming a nudge. I don't think there's much in it. And he went down like a pack of spuds. And listen, the referees looked at the penalty spot and said, yeah, that'll do for him. Penalty kick. Top corner, no chance keeper. 2-0 to Haydock FC and Stretford Paddock are right in the mire right about now. 2-0 down. And listen, they're going to have to dig deep to get back into this game. Let's take another look at the penalty. Right foot, top corner. No keeper saving that. Good goal. Long throwing from, from Haydock. Ball gets flicked on. Paddock should pick up that. They do pick it up. Now they're trying to play their football. And that's a dirty challenge. But the play goes on. And there's a little bit of argy-bargy going on here. Little hands everywhere. Number 11 from Haydock thinks... What's got... Hey, referee's he's going he's to have to take a look at this. I saw some hands flying about there. I saw some naughty stuff. Now players are squaring up and it's all going a bit off here. Well, so what's the referee going to do here? Because I'm sure there's a red card, a card in there somewhere. There's a player down on the floor and everyone's and everyone's um, having a bit of handbags and that. Even the keeper's run out of his net. Why is he run over? He doesn't need to be there. I think the referee's just biding his time to see what's going on here. He's having a word with a few players. I'm not sh too sure if he's seen what happened. But everybody else did and it wasn't good. Ref trying to tell people to go away. Which is probably the correct thing to do. Let's have a look at this again because a little bit of argy bargy there. Little Paul Skulls in there. Little left arm comes across and hits him in the face. That's got to be an instant red. He didn't say it because he wasn't fucking paying attention. It is a fucking red, that though. Do you hear the fuck? Yeah, yeah, no, he slapped him. He slapped yeah, him. He slapped him. He slapped him. And play goes on. No red cards. I can't believe that. But anyway, play goes on. Ball gets played, played into midfield. Nice ball forward into the final third. Lovely feet. Good stuff from Aftab. The ball comes across. Oh, no, he gets clear for a call. That's much better from Stretford Paddock. Only took us an hour to play football. Stumbles over the ball there. It's a bit messy. But Stretford Paddock come out with it. Much better. Pay it to the left-hand side. 
And now it's Jal going forward, and that's definitely a free kick referee. That was good intent there. Free kick, Stretford Paddock. And that's past the post. It's a good opportunity, that. Mikey, Mikey, just hit the target there, in. More finesse, less fucking bosh. He's just going long now, just drop all the way. Drop all the way, drop all the way. Just fucking pull the trigger, right? We get one, I think we get two, and then it's like just about whether we've got enough time to get a third. These have died now, their heads have gone. Yeah, gone on the right. Yeah. Kieran, run it! Run it, Kieran! Fucking go, yeah? So we've got two debuts here, Claudio. He's going to come on and play right wing, and we've got Daniel, a young 18 year old striker. He's coming on to hopefully add, add some more power and pace to Stretford Paddock's front line. Halfway line. To Paddock, into Haydock's half. Ball down the left-hand side. That's got to be a free kick and the referee's going to have to start showing yellows and reds. Because this is getting out of hand. It's a naughty tackle, that. If you don't get the card out, it'll just keep happening. They've been able to play like this because the ref's not booked once. That's why. Free kick. Can he whip this in? He whips it in nice and low and it gets cleared from Haydock. Is that gone out for a corner? Corner ball. Into the penalty area. Edge of the area. Gets a shot off. And, and Haydock get ahead to it. Can they clear it? The can, but he just falls to a strip for Paddock player again. Oh, and he lets it run out of play. That's unlucky, that. Vicky just played it straight to Haddock. He just played it straight to Haydock. Now, they're on the ball right inside of the penalty area. Goal now entering the area. What can he do? He plays it low across the bar, and it's a goal again. And Haddock FC are free the up. And that's shocking from Paddock. The goalkeeper made a timely mistake. He didn't need to do that. He should have found someone's feet, but he didn't. He found Haydock's feet instead, and they took full advantage, and it's 3 0. And Paddock have got a mountain to climb. Look at that. Space at the back post, and he just tucks it in nice and easy. Tapping, 3 0, Haydock FC. Short corner, straight for Paddock. Cuts inside, can he get shot off? He just gets shot off, and that's a good save from the keeper. Was it on target? I think it was in the crossbar. Cutting on his right foot, black the defender. Right foot, got his foot right underneath it, and he's out of the bar. Whatever it is, it didn't go in, but that's a good strike. Paddock trying to pile on the pressure. They need a goal right now if they're going to stage some sort of miracle comeback. 80 minutes on the clock. Nose is on the ball. Goes past one, one player. Is that a free kick? It is a free kick. Once again. Hits the target, but listen, straight down the goalkeeper's throat, and that's nice and easy. Time's running out here for Paddock. Oh, the, the, that's good play from the Haydock striker. Came out with the ball. Spread it, spread the ball wide. Now they play it back in field. They're trying to play it down the centre. Now they're in again on the right hand side of the Paddock's penalty area. He gets a shot off and that goes over the bar. And Paddock can count themselves very lucky there. Very, very lucky. Hit up with the throw and play the ball in field. A little bit of a battle. He's running through towards the area and that's Oates is that he's made a challenge there. And he's gone down. What's the referee giving? He's given a free kick to Haydock though. The wall's in place. The keeper set it right. Free kick coming in. Oh, and that's in the back of the net, and that's 4-0 to Haydock. Yeah, and sure. Steve can only look and ponder and wonder what's going on with his team today. Let's take another look at that. Right foot curler, goalkeeper's rooted, and the ball hits the back of the net, and that's 4-0 to Haydock FC. 4-0. And Paddock have got the reds down. And listen, it's not been a good day at the office. 90 minutes on the clock, and it looks like it's going to be a defeat for Paddock. Haydock hit the ball long, and there's the referee's whistle. 4-0. Have a look at the possession. Paddock had a lot of the possession, so 4 0 might come across pretty harsh. Do you know what I mean? But listen, fair play to Haydock. They had 19 shots to Paddock's 15. Crosses 10 for Paddock, 6 for Haydock. But listen, it's all about the three points. And Cheshire let's see where Stretch for Paddock are in the league. They sit fourth. Haydock sitting third. Do you know what I mean? But listen, it's early in the season. There's a long way to go. But listen, when you want three points and you need three points, you've got to go out there and get it, don't you? Come around in here, boys. Nice and tight. Do I need to say anything here? The times when we actually did the one-touch football, we penetrated, we had them fucking flying in, and we was drawing fouls when we did it. We lacked a little bit of composure in the first 30 minutes. And then after that, we was kind of chasing the game a little bit. But the fact is, 
we've allowed them to win the game by our mistakes. Sometimes it all fucking crumbles to pieces like it did today. You've got a week's rest now, and I don't know how much Wednesday night might have impacted some of the legs. I know some of you was playing a little bit banged up today, but I'm not going to put that down as an excuse. Sometimes you have to play twice a week. We've got to play twice a week at the end of the month in another big game. Listen, uh, let me say this first of all. I, I wasn't here on time. Uh, not because I was purposely late, but because I thought the kickoff was a different time. But all down to me. Uh, you gave me the message, I didn't read it last night properly. So down to me. So the next time we win, I buy a drink for everyone. That's my punishment for at least fucking doing that. But right from the beginning, we, we practice things and then we don't do them. From the beginning, we take the kick off and it doesn't get to where we said it would get. It winds up going back to Mikey in there and you wind up losing the ball. Is that right or not? Yeah. I'm not saying that's your fault, but I'm saying, look, our, our practice that we do, that you more likely do in the practice when we're taking a, 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 a centre and going, what the fuck are we practising this for? It's only a centre. But if we put it in there, it doesn't cause us the thing that causes us the goal. Yeah. When we did it the way our shit would fucking do it, we did it. And I'm going to say things to you that you, you might get the ump with, but if you want to get the ump with them, get the ump with them. So if you listen to what's going on from the side and people telling you things, they can see the whole fucking thing. So just listen to what's, the information you're getting. We made the opportunities to score for them. We made four mistakes and we conceded four goals. We probably made more than four mistakes, but we made four mistakes that directly led to their goal. No, I'm... All them four goals came from Stratford Paddock mistakes, doing stuff we know we're not supposed to do, literally things that we have worked on not doing. I don't believe we played with the level of intensity that we usually do. Midfield experiment arguably didn't work. Five central midfielders missing. It was, it was, you know, it was a consequence of what we've seen, maybe. I think it's a poor result, undoubtedly, and it was a poor performance. Arguably one of the worst I've ever seen. From Paddock. I actually can't off the top of my head think of a, a worse performance from us where we made so many mistakes that we gifted the opposition so many opportunities. So our analysis is that we're looking at what's going on and then we're trying to put it right the next for the next time. So there's a lot of things that we've mentioned at the end there that will put us in good stead. Now I think you've had three games. I know we want Steve wants to win every game, but we won one, lost one, drew one. The lessons we've learned in that are like them many. Yeah. We've got to now sit together and like get to grips on what are the things that cost us games. At the moment, it's the things that cost us games are our silly mistakes. And if we don't do them things, then we cut them mistakes out. So we walk off of being new. There wasn't a legitimate goal as far as I can see. I can't see a legitimate goal. I don't think they can say there was a legitimate goal that we didn't make a mistake in. So that's where, that's where I, I am and where, where we should be with it. And we can move on from that. Real fan ownership, real fan input, real fan change, real fan power. 50 plus one, we can go better than that. 100 plus none. Download our app, view the free content, read about the club, that's fine. But if you want more, become a member. To vote, to go behind the scenes, to make an impact, interact with a global community around the world influencing how we grow where we play club ethics and values the more members we have the faster we grow support the club run the club own the club this is ours and no one will take it away the future is in all our hands